Newcastle Fans TV. So, Rafa Benitez, obviously he's loved by the red half and the Merseyside. Is he going to be loved by the blue half? Uh, I think it's a bit divided at the moment, John. And I think um, we can forget about the red side. That was over 10 years ago. <laughs> I think there's, uh, he's, been, he's done other things since then. Um, so, for me personally, I, I wouldn't want to speak on behalf of all Everton fans. We're a very divided bunch at times. Um, but I'd say he's not, he's not my choice. Um, I think if people can look past the Liverpool thing, um, I can see why I can see why the board on him. Personally, I I, <laughs> I think there's better candidates out there, but I can see why the board on. Him. Obviously, you can talk about maybe other candidates that potentially were available, but this is a man that knows the city well. He loves living in the city. He's done so much stuff for the '96 and things of the hills for tragedy and that. And, you know, he, he gets the city. Does that not help him in any sort of way? Uh, yeah, he's done. He's done great things for the city. Can't argue with that. But if that's the only criteria, then you know, so Paul McCartney's out there knocking about as well. You, know, you can't just give him it based on that. Um, I'd, ha I'd have to question personally. Like I said, this is just my view. Um, what he's done recently. I know you were a fan of him at Newcastle. Um, from what I know, he wasn't pulling up trees too much in China. So yeah, we'll just have to see, I guess. But you're talking about a former Champions League winner, a former FA Cup winner. It's been a, yep. done well in Italy with Napoli. I know you had a little spell in there, but done well in, in Napoli. It's been you don't become manager of Real Madrid if you haven't got something about you. So you know, obviously you talk about a, a former manager, Carlo Ancelotti. He's obviously from uh, Real Madrid. So he, he, Rafa must be doing something. <coughs> yeah, he's uh, he's got pedigree. To be fair, what I will say is, and this is my, um, my main concern is, he's fallen out everywhere he's been based on transfers. Now we've got a director of football in place. How much of an influence he's had on this appointment, we don't know. If you read everything you believe in the papers, not much at all. Um, I want to touch on Carlo Ancelotti as well, actually, while, while we're here, because I think my my opinion on Rafa at Newcastle is probably what a lot of people's opinion is outside the club on Ancelotti at Everton. So when Ancelotti was at Everton, I always thought we're building something here. There's, there's a plan in place, there's, a, there's something we're all pulling towards. And only in recent days now that we've been with Rafa, and I thought, pff, not sure about him. That's probably, I don't want to speak on behalf of all your fans, but that's probably similar. Whereas from an outside point of view, you go, well, he's not done that well, has he? But he's probably the manager that you've all believed in the most since, well, for, for a long time, I guess. So that, that was the same with with, with, um, with Ancelotti. And his, play, his finishings were like 12th and 10th. They don't look great on paper, but at the same time, there was that, in your head, there was that goal of, Getting towards it. My, my biggest concern for Rafa is I don't know if he'll get the time with the fans. That's that's the most important thing, isn't it? He needs time. Yeah. He needs, I would say, at least a season to try and see if he can improve Everton. You talk about Ancelotti finishing 12th and then 10th. Surely Rafa Benitez, with the, with the players you've got, with him maybe a bit of money behind him, he can improve and maybe get Everton into a Europa League position or a UEFA conference position. It's only two or three places. You know, yeah. are Leeds going to be as strong as they were last year? You know, can Everton, you know, make those little changes? And is Rafa Benitez that man to do so? I believe he is because I think he did a really good job at Newcastle. Now, people will look at the comparison between Bruce and Benitez, but Bruce has had a lot of money to spend. If he gets a little bit of money at Everton and gets it right, you could be on something there, Louis. Um, yeah, Joey Mays, Joey's out on that one. I, I mean, that, like you say, at the end of the day, it's it's much. This whole job is much bigger than. When he says it's much bigger than Ancelotti, it's at the end of the day, he's got the job. That's happens. It's all about the players that are wearing Bruno. It's all about the club. They've been there a long time before these guys have been in. They've been there a long time after. So at some stage, you're going to have to get together and just support. Give him, give him the time he needs. Hopefully, it's, it is what it is. Um, I've seen a, a couple of. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to describe them. Well, one for a better word than idiot on Twitter <laughs> saying um, they hope. They hope Rafa loses all all his first ten games and gets sacked. Now, that's not that's not fun. <laughs> that's just that's not what an Everton fans about. Uh, look, Rafa's here. Did did we want him? Not particularly. We've got him. We've got to get behind the team. We don't want to be sitting in tenth, twelfth, wherever till the end of time. We've got a plan. We've got a new stadium to go to. All this is kind of taken away from the positive, uh, the positive ambition we've got. Um, we've got to get behind him, and hopefully he's the one to, to see it through. Look, if he's uh, if he's um, three years or whatever it is when we move into the stadium, um, that's only a good thing. That means he's doing his job. That means he's lasted longer than uh, Ancelotti, Silva, Allardyce, Koeman, Martinez. You know, 
So that, that can only be a good thing. The one thing, the one word that we had with Rafa at Newcastle was hope. He wanted to try and improve things. He wanted Newcastle as his little project. Because if you believe what you believe in the papers as well, Newcastle wanted him to be the man as the manager when this takeover was going to happen last year. Obviously, there's still an arbitration court in regards to the, these owners trying to actually take over Newcastle, which uh, starts the day as we record. But there was a bit of surprise in the fact that he's taken this job because people like Newcastle fans were expecting him to maybe be the, be the next Newcastle manager. Do you think he's looked at it and gone, am I actually going to get a better opportunity to manage a club in the Premier League right now, which is still quite relatively close to where he lives? I think he lives in Merseyside still. Does he give you optimism? At any is, Take away local connections, take away X, Y and Z. Does he give you any confidence that he can improve everything? No. <laughs> but I think, in, in all seriousness to that, I think if you look at, if you go, if you actually throw the Liverpool thing back into the mix and say, He's built up such a rapport with their fans and the city for stuff he's done. Um, he there's the job going at Palace, which I'm sure he could. I, <laughs> apologies if I'm undermining mine and anyone here, but he could probably walk into. Um, Spurs could have taken him as a similar situation to what Chelsea did. Um, there's other jobs out there. I think this job is. I think this job is an attractive one. I think you're right. He's got the family there and stuff, but he's sticking his neck out on the line for his reputation, and he's going to potentially burn bridges with. What he's done previously so that <laughs> over the last few days has made me think okay mate like you know fair play to him because I, I i'm trying to work out if the board have um have done well or done <laughs> or handled it terribly with the the dragging out because i think it's given a few fans time to get their head around it um it's also because he's been it's been leaked to the papers it's been imminent for however long um i think it's given us time to get heads around it and say, well, actually, do you know what? There's this positive. This kind of, it's taking the, the heat, the moment away from it. But at the same time, by dragging it out, <laughs> it's caused a bit of uncertainty and it's caused a bit of uh, bit of backlash with flags and all sorts of silly things. Yeah, it's very much silly things. I'm not going to that too much because obviously I know you, you, you don't see it all Everton fans. But in regards, well, to I'd, the- I'd like. I'd, sorry, I'd like. I would like to say something that not not on behalf of all Everton fans. Um, I obviously. From the area, I know a lot of Everton fans, a lot of good people support Everton. Just in it for going there, watching the club, wanting the clubs to do well. Um, this guy or girl, whoever it is, uh, for me is using the the team as a license to be a prat. They've been a prat. They're hiding behind a football team to be a prat. And if you want any more evidence of that, is they put a banner outside of this house saying, "We know where you live." Wrong house. Wrong house. <laughs> so you know. That's, that's what it is. Um, so that absolutely does not represent all the Everton fans. And like when any team, there's always a minority, and it's it's a shame. Uh, all teams have had things that they regret. Um, that's not a good look for us. But yeah. In terms of players that he could bring in, if he's going to get a little bit more money to spend, uh, I think Rafa could actually be a bit shrewd in this market because it's not it's it's, it's a bit of a difficult market in the sense that. How much do players go for in a COVID pandemic market? Because you look at when he was just at Newcastle, he didn't get that much money to spend, Louis, but he bought the likes of Martin Dubravka, very, very cheap. I think it was only £4 million. And on the whole, a very, very good sign for Newcastle. In terms of loan players, he bought in Solomon Ronda, who did very well at Newcastle, just couldn't persuade Mike actually to spend £16 million. And which, when you look at the current day, you look at Joe Linton for £40 million, it's a little bit different. Every manager gets probably one or two wrong, and he did at Newcastle, but. I would say out of every transfer that Newcastle brought in, I would say at 80 to 85% of the transfers went well. If he does that at Everton, surely, surely fans will get on board with them. It's another, it's another thing as well, I should have mentioned this question. It's the style of play going in from an Everton fan because people say that Rafa is a very defensive manager. And he, he was very defensive at Newcastle at times. Does, does that worry you as well? Uh, yeah. I mean, I get that traditionally a lot of title winning teams, and don't get me wrong, we're not that, but a lot of title winning teams build from the back, have a solid foundation, and then make the tweaks going forward, and that's how they do that kind of thing. Well, that's how it has been done over the years. Um, we're very defensive of Ancelotti. We we were under the impression that this summer um, he'd had a bit more attack, had these states, and then it would have got a bit more entertaining, so we don't know. Um, I think, you know, unless he's been under the rock, but he says he'll, he'll recognise that. Um, and... Results are ultimately going to be what style of play helps. 
uh, results ultimately that was going to win him over. And the unfortunate thing for Benitez, as we go back to timing and stuff as well, um, he needs to deliver straight away. And through no fault of his own, that's through 25 years of, or 26 years, it'll be of underachieving, you could argue, for a team that's won so much previously. Um, you're kind of carrying that 25 years. So for me, the best thing, he, the, the only way he can win us over is like progression. And I'm not talking about a place at the table, I'm talking about a trophy or bridging the gap to European, fo- European football, certainly, but Champions League football eventually. And I know that sounds a bit ridiculous at the moment with where we are, but that is ultimately where we want to be. And that's ultimately where the, why the manager's hiring him. If Rafa Benitez, uh, uh, Louis, was to win an FA Cup with Everton, would he be regarded as Everton's, one of Everton's best ever managers in recent years? Um, it's difficult to say. Uh, obviously, he's done what a lot haven't done. And you could argue, like, some managers have, have done very well, but just not not delivered, got us to finals and stuff. Um, so, for that, in that respect, yeah, he'll have delivered the trophy. But I think the... You look, you've got to look at like play, uh, managers like Howard Kendall won the lot back then. So there'll be people there that have lived through that and thought, well, okay, he's done all right, he's done the job, he's been brought us to the FA Cup, fine, we'll take that. But the greatest manager, no, like, or one of the greatest managers, no. Um, yeah, it's different, it's different as well with, with Everton fan, with Everton. I'm not sure if you know this, but every, every trophy we've won, the manager has played for Everton previously. So that this will be diff- this will be different. This will be very different. But it's um, you know what are the chances of it being uh, a man from the red side that breaks the curse? Yeah. Well, do you know what it is? I think that could, that could be basically. I don't know if it's going to the fairy tale ending <laughs> for Everton fans. But well, I'm yeah. sure it's not the story, the story they want. I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll tell you something. I hope he doesn't bring his uh, his form at Newcastle to the Goodison. I hope, I hope he I hope he gets knows how to win at Goodison finally. Hey, to be fair, Rafa, I'm just trying to think of Rafa's uh, performance as a Gunnison fan. I'm going to come back and hold it. You got a point. I remember, I remember you got a point at uh, Gunnison. I think, I think I believe that Rondon scored. Um, but yeah, Newcastle's one of the best records at Gunnison Park apart from last season, really. But um, I think finally, Louis, you know, Rafa is very hot and cold with the press, with the local media. When he was especially at Newcastle, he, he tried to get the media on side and had a bit of conflict with the owners as well. He, like you say, he has fell out with a lot of ownerships in the past. Has is Mashiri taken a gamble here because he's brought managers with ambition, arguably Benitez is a manager with ambition, but Ancelotti, a lot of Everton fans, a lot of football fans didn't expect that to happen, and he managed to persuade him to come along. And to be fair, did an okay job. Do you think that? He needs to get this right, Mashiri, because if he doesn't get this right, could it change? Could it be somewhere at Everton? Well, I think every man's retired has been a gamble. But Ancelotti, you'd say, well, you'd be an idiot to turn that down at the time. Um, yeah, he does have conflict, Rafa. That, that's my, big, my biggest worry is he has conflict and it could all end in tears within 18 months, which is the, 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 um, like the, stock, the stock time for, for our managers at the moment. Uh, same with Ancelotti, same with Silva. So that would be my main concern. Um, I do feel Mishiri has to get away. It does feel like it needs to be an important um, appointment, one of the most important or significant um, appointments we've had in recent times. And this is why it's divided the fan base because not everyone thinks, based on his recent his recent career, they don't they don't all think he's the right fit for for the job. That would be the only concern. I, I think look, he's got it. Back him, we'll see. Like you said, if he can get if he can get those transfers, if he can sit down with director of football. Get the right, get the right players in. Have a like work to a system. All, all Everton fans want to see. And, sorry, I've just done it again. Not, not all, not all Everton fans. A lot of what, what Everton fans want to see. see. What, what I want to see. see. What I want to see. And the people that I used to sit next to at the ground want to see is, um, you know, hard work, being able to fight until the end, so you can go goal down, and you know you've got a chance of absolutely peppering the, the glass so you can turn around. You want to see that. You want to see us play like digging deep when we have to play when we can, and then we'll take it from there. Results come, like you know, but what, what we don't want to see is with previous managers is this football where it just doesn't happen. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping Benitez has had a lot because he's been he's been out like he's, he's been out the Premier League for what eighteen months or so a year, yeah, two years. I'm hoping he's he's managed to keep an eye on it and see like where we've gone wrong and see why he can improve us because ultimately 
that's why he's taking the job because he believes I don't believe he's in it for the money I think he's in it for he believes he can actually do something and that's well remains to be seen but fingers crossed if you want Mike to Pence I think I think he will do well with Everton and I'm not just saying that this is the support of Newcastle I'm a big fan of Benitez at Newcastle and he improves players he improves players he improves for us Paul Dunnett who is a lot more steady now he was very top, it was very toxic for him at times at Newcastle he, he sawed our defence right out we had a really strong defence and we picked up some big wins like Man United Man City he knows how to get results he knows how to get results in difficult places as well so if he can get it going at Everton and the fans give him a chance I think it'll be a yeah. it, should, it, should be, it should be a good a good combination he needs to yeah he needs to the ground running for me um, just out of interest how, what was his what's his perception like to be if all be well uh, Newcastle fans are, are back for when we play at St James well I think you'll get a great reception I really do um, you know we, we actually got a good first we played at Everton on the 28th of December so we've got a very tricky Christmas period yeah. so so you might not, you might not be there though. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be well, I know that. But um, yeah, he, he takes a good course, and then we play. I think we play a lot. I think in the March maybe. But uh, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be it'll be great to see him at, at St James Park. And I think a lot of Newcastle fans will give him a, a great reception. I don't realise why they wouldn't, but that's just my yeah. thoughts on it. But um, he, he hasn't called us a little club in the past, so he'll get a good reception. I mean. Well, he's, he, yeah, he's better off with you than us, like this. No, I think you could move on past that. I think to be fair, like for me, if that was like I love all that kind of stuff. So like if that it's just him for his team having a little swipe and you you've got to do that when you can. And hopefully, you know, the shoes on the other foot and he gets a chance to have a swipe back at them. But I don't see that happening. Yeah. Um and the, the only the the biggest problem I've got is we used to have a song for Rafa Benito has got well, we used to say Rafa Beneath us because we were finishing above the at the time when he took over. That's gonna backfire. That's a problem that Mashiri's not seen. Yeah, Unless something tragic happens to Liverpool next season, which, you know, we all, we all, we all pray for, you know. <laughs> well, every Everton fan prays for, for sure. Uh, everyone, the whole, the whole country, though. Yeah, don't, <laughs> we, don't we don't care, but no one cares about them. <laughs> well, it will be Rafa Benitez versus Steve Bruce, or Everton versus Newcastle, to be more appropriate, on the 20th of December. We'll have to see if Rafa Benitez does well. Or even Steve Bruce does well, with Steve Bruce being the title on the 28th of December. My thanks to Lewis for his thoughts on Everton appointing Rafa Benitez, the former Newcastle manager, as their permanent successor after Carlo Ancelotti. Like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV, and we'll see you all very, very soon.